Hey guys, welcome to Dak Creations. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw a brick style font. Now, I always like to start off with the base and work my way up from there. So I want it to be like wavy grass coming out when I'm done. So what I did was draw a little bit of a wavier baseline. And then I proceeded to draw out my letters and a real basic straight way like there's no rounded edges really um because i'm trying to make it more of a old old timey brick so i wanted the corners to be not straight straight but not too rounded and it's worn down so you can see some of the top lines are a little bit in more and just proceed to draw your letters as normal, connect them to each other a little bit. Because once you go in, it's, this is more of a one of those fonts that are more rough and rigidy. And the less you think about it, the better. With the C, I was thinking a little more because you could go a lot of different styles with the C. But I feel like with the brick, it's always good to go with the straight in and outs and not try to do too much with the wave um with k's i sometimes get tripped up with the top so i draw a straight line make sure that they're both even at the top so they get the k is the only letter with the top line and then i draw the rest of the k and then i just erase the middle when i'm done with it but but you know we could do that at the end when i erase everything Next, you just want to go in and draw straight-ish lines straight across, just across every single letter. This is going to, these are going to be the lines, the foundation for the bricks. So, sort of like the cement of the piece. And then draw random in-between lines. Um, except for with the B, I, I crossed out where I'm going to, that's going to be the hole because it's the hole for the B. And I want to create space in between the letters so you know it's a B. Because if I just kept the brick there, it wouldn't... It would just look like a B with no holes. So I wanted the holes particularly. But if you don't want them, then you don't have to put them there. Um, now we're going to just time lapse me doing all of the brick work. Uh, the bottom hole for the B. And everything else. All right, I'm back. So now what I'm doing is just finishing up the, the K a little bit. As you can see, I did all the rest of the letters, the little of frame. Like I said, you just want to put the straight lines a little bit throughout the whole piece and make sure it looks like how you want to look like on the on a basic level. Because once you come in with the pen, you're going to fix all that up anyway the first thing I want to do is I want to do the bait the bottom first so that when I put the bricks in I know like oh don't put nothing in that spot because that's grass so I do my little sprigs of glass in random areas you know just laying it out how I want it to look and in between the sprigs of grass I add little waves and that is the lawn in a sense the base so that's all you want to do is like a little sprig of grass little wave Spread grass, little wave. Real simple, real basic. Makes it look, puts it all, brings it all together at the end. Trust me. Next, we're going to get into my B. And like I said, with the pen, you're going to try to be a little more straight. 
and we're going to do the whole outside of all of the letters and the lines that the longer lines are the ones we're going to do first because those are going to be the straightest one to give the effect that this was straight brick at some point it's just been worn down over time like i said i was doing a more old worn down type brick font so everything that is the longer straighter lines or the lines that define the letter in a sense they're going to be done first in straight lines as straight as possible do the i the C, like I said, going for straight, straight outside lines. Next, we begin the fun part where we draw those lines in. Like I said before, you draw this, the hole in first, like this. Again, those are like the framing ones, so you're going to do those first. And then you go in and you start on your brick. Now, these are when, this is when you make lines that are not so straight or regular like slanted uh thicker thinner because it's technically the cement that you're putting in not the actual brick your frame so you can do them straight wiggly out of it anything because at this point whatever you're doing inside no matter what it should look like the letter you want it to look like then the little squares you you made when you get to that part you just black them out to show that it's a hole and you proceed with that process throughout the rest of the lettering. Um, we're going to time lapse and then we're going to come back at the end. I'm back and now is where you just want to I'm doing the K I'm finishing up and do my little finishing touches and that's how you do framework and line work for a uh, brick style font lettering thanks for coming have a nice day